How in the world are you doing tonight? Listen, I had a conversation with somebody today <clears throat> and um, was, was somebody that I, I coach and, um, and had a really, really cool idea. So I want to share this idea with you all. Peter Comby, how are you? Am I saying your name right? Peter Comby. Rebecca Chernick. Becky is in the house. Becky, how in the world are you? Danielle Rowe. Of course, Danielle has already shared my video out because Danielle rocks. Emilo, how you doing, my friend? How you doing? Carmen, how are you? So I, I was talking to somebody that I, um, hey, Becky, Victor, how in the world are you doing, brother? Good to see you. Thank you to everybody who shared. It, uh, so far, I've seen Danielle. I don't know if anybody else is. I'm not paying attention that much. But anyway, listen. So I had this idea today. I was talking to somebody years ago, and I mean years ago. It's been, um, gosh, I can't, let's see, it's been at least 25 years ago, maybe more. Gosh, that's crazy. Laura, how are you? Laura Esterlin, Esterlin or Esterline? Um, anyway, so I, a long time ago, there was this, I, you know, I was back in my early 20s, whatever, in between a lot of different jobs and trying to find myself and all that stuff. And <clears throat> I came across this, um, this company that that did um advertise it was an advertising marketing firm and they had this very unique approach that they went into businesses peter getchell how are you buddy they went into businesses with this really unique idea where they went and they did everybody's heard of these of advertorials right you know what an advertorial is like it's a it's where a newspaper sells a business an ad and and what's up bro and so they they sell them an ad and then they have they write basically they write a story in a third party format and and they do it that it looks like a newspaper article but it says sponsored advertorial whatever in the in the in the headline but it's a it's a kind of a unique way to to um you know market your company but, um, hey, thanks, Robert. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Jen is amazing. She is absolutely a rock star. And by the way, I'm interviewing the world-famous, world-renowned sales training legend, Jeffrey Gittimer, on Thursday at 11 a.m. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, but so, so listen, so, so this advertorial thing... Years ago, I ran across this company, and they would do what's called... Nicholas, how you doing, buddy? Nicholas, I owe you a text message back, bro. I, I just read your text a little bit ago, and, and we need to talk. Kevin, how's it going, man? So listen, this company I worked for many, many years ago, they would go into a business, and they would say... They would say, okay, hey, here's what we're going to do. They would deliver, they would create a tabloid sized newspaper with maybe three or four, you know, pages in it. And the entire thing would be an advertorial for your business. Literally the entire thing. You, they would place ads in it for, you know, various products or services that that company sold and different things. So, you know, I, I was, I was talking to this person today about that. Um, because we were talking about some video stuff and it just, I don't know, it popped into my head. And, and I said, I said, I have an idea. Like this would be a good idea. What about going into a business and saying, hey, I'm going to do a like hidden camera, um, like a, a hidden camera type, um, a hidden camera type thing where I come into your business and and I'm I'm basically like a secret shopper. But see, the difference would be the business would know. What's up, Paul? How you doing? The business would know, right? They would know, like, okay, this guy's gonna put together this video and run some face or some ads or Facebook ads or whatever and put it out there. So I'm going into uh, Einstein bagels or 
or whatever. What's up, Dan Kelleher? Tom Olson is in here. Carl, my brother, how you doing? So listen, like somebody would go into this business and they would they would have like first off they would you know hold up their phone and go hey I'm I'm going into Einstein Bagels they don't know this but I'm like let's see how good their customer service is let's just check it out and so they'd hide their phone or something and and make it look legit like they're going in and 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 then they're doing like this this so it was just this idea and it was like man like if if you knew how to do and I know how to do video stuff I do that for a lot of the websites we work on and all that but like if if you if you knew how to do that stuff like you could go into any business and say hey i want to create a little like almost an undercover type video and i'm going to i'm going to like feature your company in it and and like have the what's up aaron beachy so i'm going to have have your company is going to be the feature in it so know that when I walk in here in a few minutes, like, and, and, you know, it's X amount of dollars for me to do this and put it into Facebook ads and run funnels or whatever, but it would be a really kind of a cool way to, to, to kind of make a, 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 almost like a, like an undercover type video. People like seeing stuff like that. So I don't know. It was just an idea. I thought, I thought, man, if somebody, if somebody actually took that idea and, and ran with it and went out and called on businesses in, in any big city and said, Hey, I'm going to go to a carpet cleaning company. I'm going to find a carpet cleaning company that wants to do this. And I'm going to charge them $3,000 or whatever the number, the numbers are all made up anyway. So whatever the number is, right. Or I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, go to the, the a bunch of local restaurants and call on them and, and say, Hey, here's what I'm doing. I'm doing undercover videos so we can make this kind of go viral, put out some advertising, showing how awesome your, your customer service is. And then you sit down and you're at Einstein bagels or wherever, and you, you're showing the food and you're, and you're like showing people anyway. Hey, so stay tuned. I'm going to, I'm going to be, so I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of a, an interesting idea. And, and so I like to try to get as creative as I possibly can when it comes to getting, getting information out there. Because look, it's a, I just had this conversation a little bit ago with somebody too. Hey Shane, how you doing brother? So, you know, and that is, there is so much noise out there. I mean, like, I, I don't know how many people are live right now on Facebook, but I guarantee you it's thousands of people, right? There's so many people out there making noise. What are you doing to separate yourself from everybody else? And that's, for me, that's like, okay, what is it that we can do to really separate ourselves from everybody else? How do we stand out in such a noisy marketplace? And that is what I really, really, I, I'm really good at figuring that out for just about any kind of a business, any kind of an industry, I can figure out how to, to, to come up with ideas that will actually separate you from other people. That's what I love doing. That's, but anyway, I just thought that was a fun idea. Wanted to share that with everybody. What, what's everybody up to? What's, what's everybody doing? Shane, I haven't seen you in a minute, brother. How you doing, man? Anita, how in the world are you? Arthur, how are you, man? So I don't know who all's still on here. I know people bounce in and out, but, um, Steelers, come on, man. <laughs> come on, Aaron. You got to love the Steelers, dude. Don't be hating just because you follow the Browns, man. I mean, I'm sorry that you follow the Browns. I really wish the Browns would do better, man. I really do. I mean, they're an Ohio team, bro. They're, they, I just, you know, but I've been a Steelers fan since I was a young kid, man. <laughs> It's it's either dude when you live in central Ohio you either go with the 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 Bengals rarely do you go with the the Browns cuz that's just um <laughs> you said maybe next year. Oh my god, that's funny. That's like every year. Dude, I was playing golf up in Cleveland one time. It's I forget it's a private country club. I forget the name of it. A client of mine is a member there. And so we went and played golf. <laughs> And this guy, um, I'll never forget on the first tee, I had my Steelers ball cap on. And the first tee box, the, the guy working the first tee box is like, we can't let you play here, sir. And I go, why? And he's like, because you're wearing that hat. And I go, whatever, dude. He goes, we're going to get you next year, man. <laughs> I go, dude, 
Ah, oh, man, I know, I know. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I, I hear you. I, I, I believe you will. I believe you will. I hope you do. I hope you do. <laughs> uh, just uh, poor Browns fans. I feel sorry for them. Cowboys, come on, man. I go like I, I remember the old the old days like Terry Bradshaw and Roger Staubach. Staubach. See, I can't even say his name. Staub Staubach. Staubach. Staub. Something like that. Anyway, I remember those days. I remember those days back in the 70s and 80s, man. Jeez. <clears throat> Terry Bradshaw, Lynn Swan, man. Anyway, so look, I just, I, I wanted to share that that thought with you, that idea I had. I think it's a, a really cool, um, I think it's a really cool, bringing value to the community you serve. That's right. Right there, Tom, you're right. Like, I think that if you could go into any business and say, you know, I want to do a, I want to do, because like for years, people have been trying to figure out how do I get, how do I get um, John Elway? That was, dude, that was uh, Denver, man. <laughs> um, but like, you know, how do I get written up in the New York Times? Or how do I get written up in the Wall Street Journal? Or how do I get written up in this or that? Like, because that's valuable, right? So if, if you can get somebody to do a, dude, thank you, bro. 49ers, Roger Craig. Oh, I don't even remember Roger Craig. Why don't I remember that? Man, I was so obsessed with the Steelers. But anyway, so, you know, remember that, that you, could, you could go in anywhere. Thank you for sharing, Carl. I appreciate it, bro. You could go into any business and you could say, hey, look, I, I want to do a, if you know video stuff, if you know video stuff, but I want to do a, like an undercover video of your business. And they're going to go, what? Yeah, listen, people are doing undercover videos already. You just don't realize it. So I want to do an undercover video, but it's going to put you in a positive light. It's going to be like I'm doing a review of your business live on like I'm going to do an undercover review. Like I'm going to I'm, and then I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to be out front and I'm going to go, OK, listen, listen, everybody, I'm going into Einstein bagels or I'm going into um, Foot Locker or whatever. I'm going into this place. I'm going into ABC Insurance Company. They don't know I'm going to be recording this. So so check this out. I'm going to uh, watch this and I'm going to hide the phone or something. I'm going to go in and now they will know. OK, they will know. So it may I don't know if that's misleading or not, but but like they're going to like you're going to set it up like and then people by the end, they're going to know. Right. They're going to know that that um that like hey like this guy was actually he it, it was it was real it was set up led center that's right brother kevin bacon state senator kevin bacon is in the house running for u.s congress come on if you live in ohio you gotta vote for him he's in the 12th district he's running for u.s congress he's he's taking pat t berry's seat i think it's pat t berry right am i right kevin Anyway, Kevin's a good friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine for years. He's been a client of mine. Kevin Bacon is the man with the plan. We need to get good people into Washington and drain the swamp, y'all. All right, so everybody, if you live in Central Ohio and you're in District 12, let's vote for Kevin Bacon because he's a good friend of mine and he's a good freaking dude. So vote for him. Vote for him. Let's get him into Congress. Brett Holcomb, how you doing? Greg Walker, my man, how in the world are you, bro? Good to see you. So, so, so listen, like, just get creative, get creative. That, and that's, that's, you know, maybe that's not the best idea in the world, but, but I, I think that if, if, if I could get somebody to do a, like an undercover secret kind of video for me, that was like, you know, that I knew was, you know, coming that, that man, I could, that could be, that could be cool, man. Cause people love seeing that stuff. People love seeing that stuff online. They love seeing these like hidden undercover videos. Um, Kevin Bacon is an awesome guitar player as well. He is. I didn't know that about him. Kevin, you never told me, bro. So, um, are you talking about the other, that, 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 other 
um, Kevin Bacon. He's the other. He he wishes he could be as cool as the, my buddy Kevin Bacon. But anyway, so so listen, just 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 get creative, get creative, and and like like you know, get creative. And no matter where you are, like no matter where you are in life, you may be just skyrocketing in in the world, and you may be way down here trying to figure it all out. What I can tell you is this, is the more creative you can get, the faster you're going to go getting out of any situation you're in and taking off like a rocket. So get creative with stuff like that. Hey, Roxanne, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate that. So that's it. That's all I wanted to do is come in and say, look, just get creative. I, I had this idea just hit me like a brick because, like I said, I used to sell for that newspaper years ago where we would create a whole advertorial. We would do an entire an entire little tabloid newspaper about a company. Maybe it was Subway Store or something like that. Where And then we would mail that to that demographic, whatever the demographic was for that area. We would direct mail it and you'd receive this advertorial and it would say like a headline across the top when you unfolded it. It was a, it was a freaking full size, like, you know, tabloid size newspaper. And, and the whole thing inside all three or four or six pages or whatever, the whole thing was about that company and, and with various articles written in a third party sense. So, you know, if you can do something creative where you're walking into a business and saying, look, what I do is I, I do I do marketing stuff and I, I, I help businesses get seen online. And what I, you know one of the services that I offer that's been popular is you know I, businesses are hiring me to come in and do kind of an undercover video and and showcasing their customer service. So hopefully you have good customer service because I'm going to do it and I, and this is what it's going to cost. Blah blah blah, whatever it is. So you know anyway, get creative, have fun with it. I appreciate y'all stopping by, checking out the video. Octavia McDougal, oh my goodness, how in the world are you? My gosh, I haven't seen you in a while. You are awesome. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say was I wanted to say, like, Octavia, it's so good to see. We were just talking about the NFL, too. Her husband played in the NFL, Stalker, and he, they're both amazing, amazing people. I love them both dearly. So, so listen, I just wanted to hop. Is there really, it's showing that there's only one person on here. Is that true? That's insane. That's crazy to me. But anyway, what is wrong with my phone? It's acting crazy. All right. So that's all I wanted to say. Tell Stalker I was proudly, proudly wearing my Steelers shirt tonight. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, two, including, I don't get that. Like what's going on? I don't get it. 5,000 friends and, and, and only two people see my stream. That makes me want to cry. Tell stalker. I said, hi, you guys are amazing. If I'm ever down your way, which I'm sure I will be, I'm going to, I'm going to hook, hook up with you. I'll stop in and say hi. So, all right, listen, I'm going to bounce off here. Thank you guys. Appreciate all the love and the shares and, and, and all that. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great, great night. Peace out.